a change of plan because I can't find enough silver glitter so I'm going to use some of this which is my tinsel snowflake I got this from a, co a company called The Range it's an English company so I'm just going to sprinkle some of that in you have to excuse my dog if you can hear her in the background people have only got to make a noise in the garden and she's out there having a good old bark actually I'm going to add some of this in as well enchantment gold, no enchantment gold is not what's in there this is my other silver that I got which I love it's like a it, uh, sort of like an iridescent sort of silver and see if you can ever see how it all changes colour I love it I really do love that one okay so if I mix that in has anyone got a gag for a dog <laughs> she's only a little thing but mine is she noisy so um, sorry you can't see me let me move that for a minute let me move all these for a minute because I'm going to be messing around with my flakes so I'll mix that in a bit so that's all nice and glittery but I don't want it I don't know do you think I should leave it like that put a bit more glitter in that looks nice together I think doesn't it no colour in it though hmm Hmm. Further idea. Change my ideas again. Right, okay, so we'll put a bit more of that in. We're gonna have a mix up. We'll have some more of that in. We'll have a little bit more of this one in. My favourite of favourites. Um add enchanted gold this is enchanted gold these are the, all of these I get from the range uh, you can also get them I think from Hobbycraft so chuck a load of that in um, I think a bit of red would be too much don't you mm. or not Nice. I'm so happy with that. What do you think? I think that's really pretty. Really nice shimmer to it. Now if I put gold in, uh, sorry, silver, uh, bleh, I'll start again. If I put red in it, I wonder if that's going to ruin it. Yes, I think it will. So that's one back. Right. Let's have all these back over. Make sure I'm in the centre so you can still see. If not, I shall move them. I should think I will have to move over a little bit, don't I? Right, can you see now? Hopefully you can. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, the only one that's a bit iffy is that one, isn't it? But that's that click, so I can go over there. If I move that down a little bit. Oh, it's like playing the jigsaw puzzle. There you go, you can see them all now. Not that I hear the difference because all I'm doing is pouring this on. But I found because it's a very textured mould, if I pour it in very slowly, then it seems to go in all the nooks and crannies so I won't speak I just pour and I will literally pour slowly so it gradually goes out
Now I was thinking with these they're going to be my Christmas coasters and things. I think that my table's a bit unlevel here. It doesn't seem to be uh, going where it's meant to. And I've got a feeling I didn't make up enough resin. But that's fine. If I can get this one to at least cover the surface, I can do another top coat but with my heat resin. Um, no, I can't because that's on the back. Uh, scrub that. Rewind. If it doesn't cover, I should just make some more up and put some plying over it later. So there's three layers to it, which it's not going to. But then I'm not bothered if they're not that thick, to be quite honest, because... You don't need the more thick um, it's just the size of the mold really you don't have to have them all the way hopefully this is going to look very nice with this glitter some really nice glitters and stuff out there nowadays Sure, I'll get it all out. There you go. That's it. I need that to cure. I'm just going to. Where's it gone? Oh, hang on a minute. I've got. Resin all over my hands from the pot. Right, okay, with a just a kitchen um, lighter. Pop anybody. Look at the way that glistens with the light. So pleased with that. I think that's going to look lovely when it comes out. Some bubbles, 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 bubbles. I think, so. I think it's bubbles, it's either that or it's, <laughs> it's, it's either that or it's the glitter. It could be the glitter. Okay, leave it as that. See how that goes. Anyway, I'm gonna Try to cover it all up. Stop any animal fur getting in it. That's it. And I shall be back tomorrow to demold with you. Okay. Bye. Hello, I'm back. Right, these are nice and dry. I'm not going to fill them right up. Um, there's been a few sort of bubbles on the back but that is the actual back so that won't be seen so let's see what they look like 
hopefully going to be nice and uh, glittery. I'm doing this in the evening so I've got no sunlight to take them outside. But there you go. I love it. That glitter around the side has come out really well. Pouring the actual resin slowly has come out nicely. I'm happy. Happy with that. Next one. go same again there's a little bit of a lip on that but I'm not really not that bothered if it comes to it I can always put another little layer on there to get rid of that or just leave it I think it adds to it sometimes it's two looks like the what I had in there before you can just I don't know if you can see it or not I had some um, other pet markers in there and it looks like it's come out slightly on that one I don't know if you can see oh, I'm not on the camera again wait hang on let me find the camera where's the camera there's the camera <laughs> I don't know if you can see it it's just around here somewhere I can just see like other stuff and that I think it's that one and it's not latch, actually red the light's not very good in here but there's not a lot I can do about that it's been a really horrible dark day and rained again and there's that one yet again I got caught in the rain luckily not like I did like the other day the other day I went out, oh excuse me, went out with my dog, oh this is still a bit bendy, went out with my dog, um, there was an almighty clap of thunder, I don't like thunder, she obviously didn't like the thunder and by the time we got home, which took me say 10 minutes, I was soaked from top to bottom. There you go. And on the back, it's all nice and shiny. It's all sparkly. I don't know if you can see that. As I said, it's not a very good light to show you, really. That feels still feels a bit bendy, so I just could even put it into a, make it into a bowl. But there's still there's a few little bits and pieces that. Sorry, that's my dog getting in all the bags. Uh, little bits and pieces that the um, mic has either not gone on to or it's the old stuff that got stuck in the holes that didn't come out the last time there you go there's that the you didn't see me do them but I made some hearts um, they, they look all right, nice and colourful on the back, but on the front... Oh, hang on. No, I just scrapped that. You didn't see that one. They're a bit black on the back, but they're white on the front. I think what I should have done was when I was actually swirling it... Oh, excuse me. Nearly bedtime. I should have sort of like dug, dug down and sort of scraped it up a little bit. So I've got four that basically look look like that. So these haven't turned out nowhere near as good as I was hoping. But it's all trial and error. Somebody might like them. I'll put a little layer on the back because that's quite sticky still. And these are the ink ones I've done. Um, turn them over and they're all nice and swirls quite green that one green with the oranges um, and I've got this one this one comes out it's got all sorts of colors in it this, the light keeps getting in the way I know sorry um, put that back. 
and I got this one which I think is quite pretty front and back same as these these are a bit sticky so I'd probably put a coat on them to stop them being so sticky and oh you can see look it's the greens come out on that one <laughs> never noticed that before oh just squish it down there that's it there you go and there's that one so i shall try them again um i'm trying out a new new resin the resin i've used is this one never used it before um, it's, it says equal parts harder and resin volume, uh, it's supposed to be, um, use the torture heat gun on low, oh that's to remove the bu bubbles, uh, Curing time is 24 to 48 hours. Work time is 30 to 40 minutes. And it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, so far, what if I use, oh, I think, yeah, I put it on the back of these. And I've done my heart. Oh, and I've done my rabbit, didn't I? I've done the rabbit. I forgot about my little bunny. This is a little present for one of the lads at work. He's just got himself a bunny and he's like all in love with the bunny. And, oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me whilst I try and fight with the rabbit. If I get it over his nose, this should come off. I think bang goes any of my nails. <sighs> come on, get your ears out. Oh, thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> giving you a bash then. Oh, look, I had black on the inside. Don't matter, he's got a few black splodges. Little pink nose, Ooh, little pink nose, black eyes, and some black splodges. He's turned out quite cute. I quite like him. I think he's sweet. I'll be making some more of them. And I find a way, now it's it's inside out. I might leave. No, I better not leave it like that, had I? Done it in the right way. And all I've done is got a little bit of mica with some alcohol, a little drip of alcohol, just to make it into a bit of a paste and put something up there and just painted on the nose and the, the eyes. And uh, that's how we've ended up with the little black marks because obviously I've I've touched it with it <laughs> but never mind it's not pure white but he's cute I like him he's very cute I love his little nose anyway that's it that's me done for tonight I am just about to make some little uh little things um but yeah I shall see you next time Bye.